Hi, it's Alaska Granny. If you've watched my videos at all, you know that I enjoy shopping at the Dollar Tree when I'm spending some time in the lower 48. And I like to get prepping supplies, easy things that I can add to my stockpile, but don't worry, I don't forget about my little dog, Teddy. Lately, when I go to Dollar Tree, I try to limit myself to $10, which is eight items, because now they're $1.25. But I did go all out for Teddy, and I did actually buy him 10 items. So let me show you 10 items I bought for my little dog Teddy at the Dollar Tree. It's always great to have extra supplies on hand for your pets because we don't want them to ever go without. They rely on us for all of their needs. They give us love. We give them food, water, and love back, of course, and all of the extra supplies that help make their lives special. The first thing I bought at the Dollar Tree were some little bags of the Beneful food. These are the great size to put into your emergency bag. If you should find yourself away from home and your pet is hungry, you have a little bit of extra. Plus, the way things are going these days, you can go to the store and it's nearly impossible sometimes to find the dog foods that you want. And I know that my dog will eat the Beneful. He likes it. And so for me to be able to have a small pack, this is great if we're traveling, if we need to evacuate, or just we're running low on his regular food. I'm going to have options to make sure that he has enough. Next, I bought him a new kind of treat. I've tried a lot of the different dog treats and the ones that he normally really enjoys, they don't seem to have anymore. So this one was a new one. These are dog treats by Foppers Gourmet Pet Treat Bakery. These are cheese flavor mini bones. I had never seen them before. They're made in the USA and it's always simple to get one pack and try it. And if he doesn't like it, I don't have to get more. Because if you go to just the regular grocery store, it seems like dog treats start at $6 a bag. And so I don't want to spend $6 to find out he doesn't like it. I'd rather spend $1.25 and hope that he does enjoy it. And then it's simple to get more. Dogs, just like kids, just like grown-ups, it's hit or miss. We might like it, we might not, but we're going to find out. Here he comes. Let's see if he likes these treats. You want a treat? You want a treat? Let's open this up and see if you like it. Do you want a treat? It's a little biscuit. Yep, okay. <laughs> he says, I need to get down to eat it. There you go. Okay, he likes it. Now we know when, just like people, when things go in, they need to come out. We need to walk our dog and make sure they have the chance to go to the bathroom. Well, sometimes at Dollar Tree, you can find these rolls of poo-poo bags. And I find that these can be a real headache. They're 60 for $1.25. Sometimes you can't even tear them apart. Sometimes they don't have a bottom. Sometimes they're just too hard to open. So while they're handy to have, they can be a battle. So what do I find at Dollar Tree that's better than that? Go over to the baby section and look for the diaper disposal bags. These have 75 in a pack, so it's more than the poo-poo bags. They're easier to dispense, they're sturdier, and they're a little bit larger. On the back of the diaper disposal package, there's a little spot that you punch out like you might on, say, a Kleenex box. Then you can pull them out. They're shaped like a little shopping bag. They've got handles, and look how sturdy they are. The ones you can reach in and really get all this stuff. The bottom stays together, and then you can easily tie the handles up and have your little package to put into the garbage can. Compare that to these. See, I just went to tear it apart and it's already ripped and it's not working properly. I have found that these work much better and I like using them when I can find them. So if you're looking for an option for dog poop bags, head to the baby department and look for the diaper disposal bags. Next, I want to make sure that Teddy is secure, so I bought two extra leashes. Uh, they used to have skinny leashes that had smaller clips on them, which, you know, if you have a little tiny dog, a big clip can be heavy on their neck. And so if you can have a smaller one, you want to make sure if you have a tiny dog that the clip on the leash isn't so heavy that it's uncomfortable for them. 
So these aren't bad. They're a good option for $1.25. It's nice to scatter leashes around so you have one by the front door or by the back door. In your car, maybe in your purse. And if you ever travel, make sure you have a few extras in your luggage handy where you can get them. I've been at the airport with Teddy and I need to hook him on a leash quickly and sometimes I can't remember which pocket I stuffed it in. So now I try to keep several of them in my luggage and in his carrying case so I can quickly clip it on him and let him out so he can walk around when he has the opportunity. Should there be an emergency, I still want to be able to feed my dog whether I can get dog food or not. So a good strategy is I picked up a bag of rice. I'm going to store it in an airtight container and then I also picked up a little can of chicken because I can make dog food with that. I can prepare this, add the meat into it, and then I have lots of extra meals for him in an emergency situation. I know that Teddy will eat rice, he will eat chicken, and so that's a good source of extra food in an emergency situation when I can't get the food that he normally would eat. So that would have been $10, but I can't not buy Teddy a big old rope toy. It's almost as big as him, but he loves this thing. I also found a squeaky toy. <laughs> he loves the squeaky toys. This one also has crackles in it, and so this is just a great thing for him. Do you hear that crackling? Daddy, want your toy? Go get it. Bring it. Bring it. Good boy. You want your toy? Go get it. Yeah. Bring it. Good job. So that's the 10 items that I bought for Teddy at the Dollar Tree. And yes, I spent a little more than $10, $12.50, but he's certainly worth it. Leave it in the comments below. What things are you finding that you have for your pets? Make sure you have some pet supplies set aside in a pack, a backpack, something, so that should you need to evacuate for some reason, you have things for your pets as well. Have a carrier if you need one, have a leash, make sure you have some food and water for them and that you have any medication, things like that, a little blanket, maybe a toy. It's not that hard to prepare for our pets. They give us unconditional love. It's up to us to make sure that they have everything else. If you enjoyed my video, I hope you'll share it with someone else you think might like it. Please subscribe to the Alaska Granny channel.